see this. It, you will must see in thousand years, ten billion years. This video will really get deleted. But something can a cosmic ray can hit this mobile and delete all the videos. Then will be lost. But under the let's take a topic. What can we topic? Let's think. Oh. What we made of? Cells. Let's take cells. So what is a cell? Imagine a ball. A circle. Now you can see through a circle, okay? Now make it a ball. A transparent ball. Now now put things in it. Put things like things like anything you put like this cocos put inside it. And now now let's make it small. Small, small, small. Now you can't see that's small. Just through a microscope. That's a cell. A ball, a transfer ball, things are put inside that gives energy to sustain itself. Okay, let's see it. Now don't imagine all this goggles. Now imagine about a real thing that's happening. My hand is made of cells. Now let's take. What if a cell was the size of a marble? So what would be a hand? Okay, that is fairly easy. My hand will be big as an earth. That's simple. But now, how do cells are cell living things? That's the question. So for that, we need to go back as well 3.4 billion years ago when the first cells were created. And when we created in Kaiser, they were powered by nuclear energy, radiation and atoms, atoms, molecules, and they create anti-atoms. Right. Hmm. Amino acids. And they bond together to create a membrane. And that's the round thing spear. Where the things will be inside that. That's the membrane. And now the membrane was very delicate. And it can't sustain itself because it will do damage. And it need energy. So it creates life. It makes things, it evolved. Radiation, uranium, it created, it created art and what was that? What was that? Amino acids and made them structures like DNA, RNA, then two of them on our and make proteins and glucose and the inside are put into the membrane and now boom you get a cell but the problem how will it get energy? You can't eat little uranium. That's little uranium. You can't take energy from uranium. So there are minerals. It took mineral break in E2 and it will create ATP. I don't know its definition, but it stores energy and can put energy and can take energy. And they are very small. And what is the definition? That's a big definition. Go to the Google search it. Don't ask me because that's a big name. And the, they were using ATPs, but they were not very efficient. And after, for like three million years later, cells began to evolve and evolved to harness the sun's energy. They can call photosynthesis. They take the sun's light energy or visible spectrums, electromagnetic waves, and create them chemical energy. And it's all into ATPs. Now. What photosynthesis? They have a lot a new way. Glucose. That is very simple. Put ATP into it, make glucose, it has store energy and take out energy when we ever want. Okay? Now, so, there. But they were not very efficient to evolve faster. Like viruses do. Now they will say, as COVID 19 is going, it has evolved rapidly. But that was not the way early life. So, but one day, a cell. It another cell, but did not follow it. It stored it inside the body, and the smaller cell was not now. They didn't need to survive in the harsh condition, or he the small cell was focused to make ATP molecules or glucose, and the bigger cell provided the energy and made it safe for to in the surrounding. But other cells they going to catch the cell to eat it. Now where well, that. That now it happened go more, more than that was that smaller cell. Now that's mitochondria that create energy or ATP molecules. 
Then other cells copied it and made ATP mitochondria. And then a magic happened. They started to contract together and make bigger things. There's not to be like one giant thing or one more things. But some of the cells were getting useless. So they curved themselves like this, not a big bunch of them. And they get structures like plants, animals. And what was the first animal? Jellyfish and platforms. Then they created plants that create oxygen. Then we began to evolve, dinosaurs died, and we few mammals became and here we are today. Living in this big and dark universe that's going to end in very horrible death. And just for a short amount of time we are here. So what I can do for this time? Do something good. Don't play video games. That's just for fun. But we can do another thing. We can explore things. Like what is an atom? What is the heart cells are like? What is consciousness? There are lots of infinite amount of questions. We need to answer that all of them. And that's all. Thank you. Bye.